In this episode of Tech Session, I learned how to throw my voice and tried it on Ellen. Hi! Hello! Decklid Don tries to run himself over, and when he realizes he's in his own way, he angrily beeps at himself. <laughs> and Ashlyn tells us why she was gone for so long. I took an awesome sh Hey, welcome back to Tech Session Saturday. That's right, today is the day where we Volkswagen owners get together and work on each other's shit. <laughs> I'm your host today, the Duckman, and this is... Ashlyn. Ashlyn. And we're having a great time today heading over to the Volkswagen crew. Uh, it is an open invite anybody that wants to come. If you're either interested in Volkswagens or if you have a Volkswagen, just come on right out. Uh, check out rareairvw.com. You can find a link to our Facebook where we host our event page. So you can find out all of our times, events, locations, and the whole works. So if you want to join us, once again, open invite. Just come out and tear up our food. Uh, typically, it's free food at every tech session. Today is one such rare exception where we're not getting fed, though. We're actually going out for hot dogs. Whacked out wiener. That's right. After tech sessions, you'll see that as part of this video. Anyways, as always, you guys, like you, like you, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to plug that dingle belly so you get updates every time we have a video. Check out duckshit.net for all of our different social media links, including Ashlyn's YouTube, her Instagram, and what else you got nowadays? That's it. That's it for now. <laughs> well, you got to get yourself a Patreon soon. You have a Patreon? I do. Well, we need to start sharing the links to that because, uh, whoa, look at that. I'm zooming away in here, trying to drive a stick shift here with one hand. There it is. <laughs> Damn it, Duckman. It's dangerous to drive with a camera out. You're such a fool. Ah! We're going to die. I am going to die. <laughs> anyway, we got to get your Patreon set up and we got to get your uh, PayPal link set up because, um, well, we're going to talk about it later, but uh, you're in a situation and you need a little bit of money. <laughs> so who wants to help out that pretty girl? Look at that innocent face. <laughs> She's not that innocent. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. We'll be back right after the intro. spot I'll make one I got a can opener <laughs> what <laughs> just sneak right in here this is good well look at this turnout check it out got wild bill over here being wild greetings comrades greetings comrades how are you later bill good glad to hear it all right y'all have a nice day She always gets pushed in videos. Oh, why does everybody hate me? I don't like you either. Oh, oh, oh don't, even, don't you. even censor that either. Is that my IQ or my sperm count? Oh, I my know your God. IQ. <laughs> That'll work. Those with the lower IQ usually has the higher sperm count. You can tell by walking around in today's world. Some interesting jobs going on. They do on breed. <laughs> Exponentially, so why not? Uh -oh. Look out behind you, don't get killed. Oh, one thing, they have best done. Deck lid done? Nope. Oh. Um, we have a uh, brake conversion going on with an early bay in there. Uh huh. Um, drum to disc brake nice. on the front. Nice. And what brand? Anything special? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I forget what brand it is, but I mean, it's not empty. The fancy, expensive, aftermarket. <laughs> from California. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Exactly. Okay, well we'll have to have a look at that for sure. Yeah. Looks like Ashlyn's getting a head start on us. Right. 
Well, um, also, I, I came bearing gifts today too. If you if you want to do that now, or do you want to? Is it like ball bearings? Well, no, it's better than ball bearings. Better than the ball bearings, but they're bearing gifts. You said. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if you bear with me here. Okay. Me. <laughs> well, let's go check it out. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, a little bit of background on this. Uh, about 15 years ago, got a telephone call from a lady because internet wasn't that big 15 years ago. And she said her daddy had a bus <coughs> parked out in the woods behind her house. And the woods had grown up over it. And she didn't even really know where it was at, but we could have it. Uh -huh. So I got a group of rare air people together and we went looking for this. It's off of. Um, uh, Blue Angel Parkway, and it was definitely back in the woods. And we we fanned out, and we were looking for it. Looking, and there was a big clump of trees. In fact, I'll try to get some still photos of that. I've got some, and maybe you can incorporate it into the video. Or yeah, whatever. yeah, we can do that. Uh, we salvaged some parts off of it, but it did most mostly return to earth. The engine was gone, transaction was gone, um, the, the whole bed was gone, the cab collapsed in but it had all the instrumentation and everything on it mm -hmm. okay and it was a single cab the guy used to put a big old wooden box on the back of it and go camping <laughs> and it was like really really unusual but all right music. Um, that was music it was um but i know, Four that, cylinder I know symphony. that gregory uh, uh is always looking for parts for donations indeed <laughs> so I have uh, something that's quite unusual, and they're just going to need to be cleaned up a little bit. But uh, as you'll see, they're really cool, and and I want to present it. They actually belong to the club because I salvaged them, but I've been keeping custody of them, so I'll never use them. We don't have that many uh, split window buses in the, in or early early Beatles in the club, so I've got I got something I want to donate to Gregory, and you. Can clean them up and put them on there. I think you'll like it. Oh, wow. All right. It's a, a pressure washer? Pressure Hell washer. yeah! I can wash all the rust right off. Okay. That's something. Is oh. it really a pressure washer? Oh, no. Here we go. Wow, look at that. These things are relatively rust free. Got it. Still got all the VW and on. Hella yep. labels on it. Yeah, Hella. Yeah. Uh, it's got the it's Hella, Hella good light. Yep. A Hella, Hella on light. the glass. Oh, yeah. It's got a little crack. It's got in. the original Volkswagen stamping on the glass yeah. too. Oh, that's a damn shame. Yeah. Actually, you know, I think I have a spare glass. So. Okay. But um, wow. Anyway, um, all of the mechanisms for adjusting the lights and everything is there. It's intact. And uh, like I said. Um, I even throw in the box. How's that? Wow, you got a box too? Yes, sir. I keep man. my towel though. Oh, oh towel. man. They're going to get busted on a ride. Look at that. A couple of dachshunds in there. There's a couple of puppies. It, more than likely, <laughs> dogs and hair in there, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah. Wow, anyway, thank you, Bill. I appreciate welcome. that. I'm going to set this down and you can come back at your convenience and grab it out I'll of the do back that. of it. And, uh, yeah, Gregory needs a lot of work, but that's definitely a good start in the right direction because the uh, other headlights are pretty bad. Yeah, well, you got to see where you're going. Yeah, that that's we do. It. All right. So, Thanks, Bill. You're welcome, man, anytime. And what do you need? I need a lot of help. All right. So begins the deck lid caper. There you go. <laughs> what have we here? This is a uh, 1969. Uh, Volkswagen West Bay is putting front disc. Low on. light? Yeah, it's got a light. Mm -hmm. yeah. How's it going, Jeff? Hi, Glenn. Good to see you, bud. How you doing? I'm doing great, Good. man. Good. Tighten or loosen? <laughs> I can yeah, tell I what you're going at. <laughs> 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 
Am I understanding the drums are coming off and discs are going on? Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. All right. This is, uh, Three and a half foot of Sally water. Oh, I well. This was probably the perfect time to do. Yeah, I'd say. As well as grease up everything else. Absolutely. I'm still running after all that, though, huh? Well, first time I drove it was today, since uh, <laughs> September the 10th. So it's been a while. I take it it wasn't seawater? Oh, it was. It was, and the engine's okay, huh? So it, it didn't eat up the engine, magnesium. Save the engine, you know, probably half a dozen uh, oil changes. WD-40, guys are four watt motor over on a 98 really uh -huh. bailed me out. Not a bad time. Um, I've heard it's, you know, just lucky it happens. It had an oscillating sprinkler underneath it, you know, getting all the salt water off. Yep, yep. The inside, so. Yeah, yeah. And you do the transmission new swap too? Uh, new clutch, transmission was good, new clutch. You change the fluid out though? Oh, yeah, okay. Because they do have a weep hole and water can get in, so. And it was milk. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you got it out because that magnesium goes pretty quick in salt water. No question. So I had it out within a week. All right, rocking and rolling. Oh, there's the new set. Look at this. Look at the size of that thing. Holy crap. That's what she said. <laughs> Yes. Oh, empty box. Hi. Hello. I'm throwing my voice. <laughs> Good. You making some uh, door panels or something there? Kick panels or some kind of crap? Oh, okay. Okay. I recognize them now. Now I see it. Now you see it. Man, you got to... I guess you got a whole saw. I have 127 of those to do. <laughs> I I'm, counted them. I'm, I'm getting smart this time, and I'm going to do three panels. That I'm cutting out three panels at a time. Uh huh. But I think that that Forstner bit really, in order to do the holes properly, I'm going to have to cut out the holes. I don't think I can uh. do them. How, I could maybe try it. How perfectly shaped do they need to be? They don't. They don't? Okay. No. I mean, you That's don't. why you can stack them and cut them then. Exactly. So that's kind of something that turns out a little weird. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, it doesn't have to be, for, it does have to fit up inside the engine. Yeah. Bit, right? You put that uh, insulation behind it, right? So it's jute. Yeah. Jute? It there, and it's covered with plastic. And if for some reason your plastic is disintegrated, like mine is, you take um, like three mil plastic, like the sheeting that you would use for a drop cloth, kind of fold it over the top of it, mm -hmm. and then use a soldering iron or a hot knife if you had one to seal the edges all the way around and then put it back up in there. Wow. And in the 77, 78, 79 bus, you've got, um, you've got these, some underneath these two panels, and it's three pieces, because you have, like, it's split down the middle, right? Mm -hmm. You have a tiny little piece that goes in one area, and then a piece here and a piece there, and they just go up underneath. And then there's a piece that goes underneath the cargo floor, you know, the engine compartment door and the cargo floor. Mm -hmm. There's a piece that goes in there as well. So. Awesome. If you don't have it, don't have the jute. Um, the jute. HelloFresh used to, I'm, I'm using HelloFresh jute for Bill's bus. They used to pack their stuff in uh, the jute, so I saved. Gotta have a pack of garage full of that stuff. I gave him a couple pieces of that from uh, some buses stuff that I've salvaged, and he kept burning it. <laughs> Well, since burned, we're, we're he keeps burning. burning all the insulation that I we're give him for his bus. Some for him, so if he burns this, at least we'll have the pattern that we can read. There it is. So. I can see it now. Where's her respirator? Where's her ear protection? Yeah, yeah, and it's mine coming. too. <laughs> it's coming. I dried up. Why is she not what wearing gloves? That shirt of hers is going to get caught in a reciprocating <laughs> blade. Right <laughs> <laughs> when you're doing it, go ahead. You for your care and concern. You got it when you're doing it. You oh, yeah, yeah, put yeah. it up here like this. Yeah. He's already lost his finger, dude. And go then on. when that when that one gets cut off, you go like that. <laughs> And then you can switch. Oh, don't cut, please you can don't cut. Switch, you can switch hands. There goes that. Song. So you still got one more to go there. And then when that doesn't work, <laughs> your toe, you use your foot. <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> you have to look at my gas pedal. I got a foot gas pedal, uh -huh. and I uh, round off the, the toes. You lop the toes off? <laughs> You'll have to get a shot at it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's, it's, work. it's the Baja. The Baja? Yes, sir. We'll have a look at it a bit. Yeah, he doesn't have a shit. He's got a problem already. So after I said all that crap, turns out we're fed anyway. Look at this. 
donuts and one donut and these donuts and that thing. This looks like a giant turd with uh, <laughs> a turd covered in white creamy stuff. Let's just stop right there. <laughs> I'm having that one. <laughs> Being all sneaky. I'm good at it. Very good at it. Being this sneaky. Was a That's the part we wanted to see. Hey, come back. Oh. Morning, Bob. <laughs> Don't forget to sign in. You're wasting your film on me. <laughs> no film. Nothing oh, to waste. <laughs> 75 bucks. I'll need a check. I'm going to have to look at some of the earlier tech session videos because this was our roll of disposable uh, towel. This roll was probably a good four feet tall. And over the years, it gradually shrunk because we continued to use off of it. And, uh, well, it's long gone now. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's all that's left of that. Yeah, there's still a little on there. You can yeah. use that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's it. You can use that. It's like a mustache. Like a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> we thought exactly the same right thing. Right in with my <laughs> um, Actually, Don has another roll of that up there. <clears throat> another yeah. one? Really? Yeah. yeah. Thank so, you. I'll roll it down the stairs and make a video. <laughs> <laughs> a little wall. Um, I like that idea, actually. We can, we can get, uh, There's another one up there, huh? Yeah. I have to see if I can find it and bring it down. Somewhere. That'll give me a task. Well, that that's heavy. Well, I'm a heavy guy. All right, well, just roll it down the steps. <laughs> that's what I'll do. Smash right into the toolboxes. No, get somebody it. down there. Get Bethany to stand down at the bottom to catch it. It'd be well, funnier to have like Ashlyn do it because she won't know what to expect. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Bill was right. There is the other roll. So I was wrong about four feet. It's actually probably about three foot six, but uh, that is a big roll. <laughs> it was. It's heavy. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, catch this. Are you serious? Yeah. What is that? It's a paper towel. Why am I catching it? Because yeah. I'm the pitcher. Why do I not trust you with this? Why, why, why wouldn't you trust me with this? Because you always set me up for something. Well, how's it going to get down the stairs? Uh, you roll it while going backwards. Okay, well then go backwards. I'm going to roll it. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, that roll That's probably heavy. Nah, it's not that heavy. I could have picked it up. Actually, I just wanted to scare it. <laughs> wow. I got to get a picture of this, too. That's cool. <laughs> and my phone rings, of course. I didn't get a picture. I got a picture, you know? the pandemic. And who's bothering me? Let's see. It's Rob. On the top up there, that's, that's where that came. Did you see that there's another roll of this up there? That is the other roll. No, there's another roll. Another, another roll. Another, another roll. <laughs> yeah, that means that one lasted like 15 years. So how long it last? Since before I came around, before and that was seven, left. seven, eight. Well, no, I was seven, eight, nine years ago, yeah, and it was right. still here. Yeah. <laughs> so we got another, we got another twenty years worth of damn papers. Wow. When that one runs out, there's one more. We're so gonna need one in my shop. Ooh, good idea. I think there's one more. Let me go. Oh, did that come in? That one was against the back wall, underneath the deck lid. My deck lid. Deck lid done.
<laughs> it's just an incredible turnout here. I guess everybody's just tired of being home this winter. It's just wow. Wowzer, wowzer. This is uh. Rabbit Girl Lynn's Beetle, she just got it out of the body shop. <laughs> rabbit Girl Lynn? Rabbit Girl, you know Rabbit we'll just call her Rabbit Lynn. No, not Rabbit. New new rabbit. New, new head <laughs> rabbit new Lynn. Easiest fix of the day, easiest fix of the day. Her horn didn't blow. Okay. So I uh, got underneath and the wires... Dirty deck lid on. The wires connected to the horn were off of it. So, mm -hmm. And the fuse was blown. So let's put a fuse in. So you're blowing fuses and you're blowing horns. Now it should blow. <laughs> and, and it wants to take off. Yeah, they do I, that. I didn't know that. You hear the fender uh, resonating. <laughs> should, it, should the horn blow with the key off too? Uh, depends on how it's wired. Well, it's wired to blow with the key off. Yeah, it depends on how it's wired. Now I don't know what the factory did. Some years were different than others. I thought you had to have the key on to blow the horn. But not on this car. Been disconnected so long. I think my car McGee also beeped with the uh, the key off, so I, I don't know. There you go, it's fixed. Yay! Yay! Deck lid done. Pick out a deck lid. With his Except rear end lowered deck. bus. No. Look who came to visit. Hi. Hi, and you brought critters with you. I did. They're sick of my foster pups. Uh oh. So they're getting some extra love and attention today. You get out. You doing critters, huh? Maybe. Woo, woo, no jumping. Woo. No jumping. Oh, <laughs> I want to tell you about one of our club uh, members that joined and didn't know a uh, lug wrench from a spark plug. Okay, she probably still doesn't, but anyway, she she learned by me talking to her on the phone last night. I walked her through putting an ignition switch in. When she called me, it would only go in two positions. Uh -huh. On and and then start, okay. But she, on her own, last night figured out how to fix it. So I'll let you, Beth, Bethany. Oh, she's over there chattering. Beth, all Bethany, the guys are hitting on her. Bethany, come here for a second. Oh, that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, the other one. No, not not. not Is it another one over there too? <laughs> okay, we got all kinds of Tell him. I want to be gluttony. Starting with the phone calls to me, what you did, because he wants the video, the repair work that you did. It's only going to be on on TV. I mean, not TV, but YouTube, and maybe a couple, maybe thirty thousand people will see it. That's all. Go, go right ahead. Okay, so who are you? My name is Bethany. Oh, this is close. And. <laughs> So I started turning it over one day, it wouldn't start, I blew the ignition switch, ordered a new one, called Wild Bill, was getting his advice, and there's only three little fuses, three little wires, so I thought I could do it. Well, I, I switched it out, put a new one in, and it was only turning like like a, like a on-off switch. It was only turning left and right and wasn't giving the three clicks, mm -hmm. you know, so... Finally, long story short, I filled with some wires. I realized that I actually had two of the wires switched, flipped them over, and got it running. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. But it only had it? two clicks in it. That's odd still. Hmm. Yeah, let's see it. Yeah. Where is it? It's right here? Yeah. Oh, it's right behind me. I was that disoriented. So it was like a light switch. As soon as I hit, uh -huh. it's, we got the trunk fixed too. Okay. As soon as I hit the key, it would start to turn I didn't have a light switch just for the blinkers and you know, electric. Uh huh. So, down here, we fiddled with a couple of the wires, uh -huh. and this didn't totally line up with the original one I had, but after just fooling with it. You it, found something loose. Yeah, and I basically had just screwed it in and okay. switched wires and now it's good to go. It's your first complicated electronic fix? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Something that would probably take uh, 15 minutes, took me three days. Took you three days, but you figured it out. Yeah. Huh? 
but it's a learning curve and now I know for next time. That's it. Yeah. Hopefully it won't be a next time and it stays on there. Yeah. What you got here? Caliper uh, in the rotor. I don't like the rotor the size on of the thing. thing. Yeah, it's, it's things huge. It's extra big ass caliper. It is, and that'll stop this uh, bus. I hope so. Bus. <clears throat> but I don't know. He talked about putting some on the rear also. I, I think I'd be interested to see how a bus would perform with four wheel disc brakes on it. I think you're going to find out. Oh, yeah. And I won't just have regular four wheel discs. I'll have Porsche on there. I got all Porsche parts on mine. <laughs> uh, when you bleed these things. More than one piston? It looks like just one piston in there. It, it's just one, one, one big piston, ass piston. But you got the, a cha big chamber in there, right? Mm -hmm. So you always bleed from the top one. Yeah. Uh, air unlike I did the other, other oh, it's day. Double, double bleed. Yeah, yeah I, I, bled from, I bled from the bottom one and got about the top one, and I had no spongy brakes. I'm going, uh, I'm driving down the road going, what the hell's going on here? Why, how come I don't have any pedals? I've never seen that. So when I got back, I looked and I said, oh shit, I forgot that. Yeah. I should have dipped it in yeah. the top one. Yeah. Makes it one size fits, right? fits yeah. all. Mm -hmm. Now, what I, what I used <laughs> to do on mine too is I'll take and put a hose running from this. All the way to the brake reservoirs. Okay. Put it back. Oh, crack that with a wrench. Yeah. That's actually then, a no-no. What's that? Because if it gets dirt or something from the lines, you're putting it back in the system. <laughs> I mean, you can bleed. You can bleed it out. I mean, it's clear line, and you can see. I mean, you're the Volkswagen wizard and all, but I'm no, going to call not, you out on that one. I'm not a wizard. <laughs> Wiz well, you are the wizard. Wizards you got the yeah. There it is. And, oh, it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I wouldn't put the right. fluid back in the system. It's, it's uh, dirty. Just all the crap from the you line. Actually, you know, I never had any luck doing that. I did it with these. Every time somebody. Uh, te tells me that I think of you, I but I have never had any luck. I did it the other day with all the uh, four wheel discs. Just open it up so you get a good steady drip. Shut it. Right rear, left rear, right front, left front, and it work fine. Are you tired of that steady drip, drip, drip of gonorrhea? Not yet. Look who came. Oh, come on, Carlos. Do it for real. Come on, Carlos. Come on. Come on, Carlos. Has Gail been here yet? Come on, come on, do it for real. Give me a sissy bang. Come on. <laughs> Has Gail been here that for sissy real? Sissy banging me. I'm not <laughs> Come on, come on, Carlos. This is going to be a thing now, I swear. Every do it. Come on, Carlos. Carlos is afraid he fist bump. Hurts too much. That's what she said. <laughs> Good to see you, Carlos. Good to see you too, man. How's it Even going? if you have a wussy fist. Come on, hit it for real. Hit it hard. I can't. I don't want to. Come on, come on. Come on, Carlos. Come on. Pound me good. That's <laughs> <laughs> someone else's job. Someone else's job. This small windowed beetle over here hasn't been running in a, oh, about 10 years or so. Wild Bill's working on it right now. We might get it started today for the first time in 10 years. I think that would be pretty fantastic if we do. But we got the wizard working on it. He's got the wizard's beard and everything. And we'll see just what we get. Maybe we'll get lucky. <laughs> Let's see where he's at. Exactly. Check out the front the pump. pump. Yeah, front carburetor, pump. if it runs okay, don't worry about it. If not, well, it might be a good idea to take the top off of it. I wrote that and said there's any Okay. Uh, anyway, we're going we're gonna to try cranking it up. Uh -huh. We're going to remove this air air filter off. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? All right. Yeah, this is the um, first time this thing is... Um, Attempted to run in 10 years. Uh, 15. 15. 15 years. 15 years. Okay. Oh boy, yeah. So the engine turns over. Okay. So good, engine, good. Engine turns over. It's, it's got, got oil. oil good. <laughs> um, the fuel, we're not going to, it's it's not getting any fuel, but that's okay. The fuel is 15 years old inside the tank. So, yeah. Uh, Better once, off not getting any. <laughs> once we get this thing running, he's going to relocate his filter, replace all the fuel lines, relocate his filter down underneath. So it's not in the uh, uh, engine compartment and it's not on the discharge side uh -huh. uh, under pressure. And then um, it should run smooth. It probably just need, it's going to need new wires. You can see the wires are messed up on it. Yeah, so. like a little rough. Yeah. What year is it? 64. 64, okay. 63 or 64 was my guess. Okay, so I'm going to remove this air. Uh -huh. this is the oil in it still? Oil, oil bath air right Don't here. tip it over. <laughs> Later, Bill. All right, man. Take care. That guy. 
Okay. You got We're there. just using, uh, uh, I don't really ether. like to use the ether, yeah. but uh, since this thing hasn't started in a while, we're going to we're gonna go ahead and use ether in it. That's it? One uh, hit for the engine, one hit for you. That's it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll be laying on the ground behind you right there. The ideal thing is if you pour a little bit of gas in here and then pour some down that little spout right there. And that little spout? It is. That little overflow spout. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and it goes, it goes, it'll, it'll fill up your bowl. Fills the bowl. But I was just telling him a while ago, to get this thing running. In addition to replacing all the fuel lines and blowing out the hoses from here up to the engine, uh -huh. uh, I mean up to the uh, tank. Um, you know, take the top of the carburetor off. Be careful with don't separate that gasket. Yep. And just look down in the bowl and see if there's any trash or whatever there is. Two two bolts right here and your uh, throttle. Pull the whole cable. carb right out. Pull the carb out and just rebuild it. You know, while you got it out, just go ahead and rebuild the whole thing. Because you don't know the condition of that pump, right. diaphragm in there, and any of the other um, seats and everything else on the valves and the adjustment screws. So, I'm going to squirt this in. And I'll put some down inside the bowl, too. Let it run down in there. Oh, man, I hate this stuff. All right. <laughs> So, if you'll go up front, sir, and crank her up. Here it comes. Watch for the big, sooty, smoky mess coming out of there. <laughs> I got the gas. Do you? Up, 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 there it is. Oh, look at all that black stuff coming out of there. Okay, so she starts, she That's runs. good, that's good. If she, uh, if she needs uh, gasoline about, about it. It's um, getting sparked, that's good too, jeez. Yeah. Just yeah. fuel it up and... Uh, these things. But uh, Glenn, uh, here's the owner of the car right here. How are you? Good, good. Tell us who you are, man. <clears throat> so there's a great story about this. That's a cool story about uh -huh. the car. I came here in 73, worked for the Historic Pensacola Preservation Board downtown. Uh -huh. This car was in Warrington. Okay. Sitting in a, someone's front yard. I stopped by and asked them if they want to sell it. They not at all. So I said, well, take my business card. When you when you're interested, I'm interested. It looks like you need a fresh. I got home and the guy called me up. He said, "Are you are you doing all that work downtown, taking them old houses and making them new again and fixing them up?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "Well, you're just the guy that should have this car." Sold for five hundred bucks. Oh wow, awesome! I'm not. What year was that? Sixty-four. You bought it in sixty-four for five hundred dollars. Seventy-three. Seventy-three. Okay. And it was running. No, it was just it just sat in the yard. And I, I did a build. Uh, Still though, pop around up eight. Yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. You had it all them years. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was fun to hear it run again. Yeah. Yeah, it should be okay if we can get the uh, fuel system cleaned out. Yeah, let's put that air cleaner back on before my YouTubers say we forgot to do it. Because they're sure to tell me when they don't like something. <laughs> So is this video, do you have this video on a YouTube site? Yes, it will go up on YouTube probably as soon as next week, maybe the following. What, how do I find it? Uh, Duckman Cycles VW Garage. Say it again? Duckman Cycles and VW Garage. Duckman or just hit my website, duckshit.net. <laughs> That's easier to remember. <laughs> oh, how many smells? Like, oh, he smells like duck shit. Burf, burf. Get him. Burf, burf. He's interested. He's like, he's got boots. He's interested in the ham sandwich, man. The ham sandwich is gone. <laughs> I want a ham sandwich. Ham sandwich, too. Woo. I'm out of food. I'll be your friend. <laughs> I've got some spark plug wires. That's B, your friend. She is my friend. That's B, your friend. She is my friend. That's B, your friend. <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to get it. <laughs> All right, you got some pretty good results there. I missed it for you cutting out all them holes. Yeah, so this is going to be the template um, uh -huh. we that I'm going to save so that I can do other ones. But you know, you can kind of see how. Uh huh. This one. How many holes did you cut in the table? None, because we put. Down. <laughs> so. I had to ask. <laughs> sure. So I'll be able to ditch the the originals. You know, this Zip. is the original material, and you can see it's the same kind of thickness. It's the same kind of material. Same exact stuff. How many campfires stink real bad? It's, it's 
got that California. That's how you make people leave at the end of the night. Sticker on it when you buy it, right? <laughs> Some people have a campfire for too long. You start throwing out on there, they'll leave. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, once we finish with this, we've got some clear coat. We're gonna clear it so that oh, you it clear them too. Seals it up a little bit okay. better, so that hopefully you won't end up with uh, screw holes. That's for the rivets. You okay. Rivet. Oh, you rivet it in. You rivet it in. Okay. Okay. So when you place it inside the bus, there's a live edge that goes back here. You okay. shove it up underneath the live edge, and then you rivet, rivet, rivet. Put some Clecos in it. So. Yep. And this is where the electrical outlet box goes in. Where the this is the heater. <laughs> Uh, I know, it's just about the same, the close to the same size as an electrical outlet box. <laughs> That's just kind of reminding me of it. Yeah, I need, to, I need to cut it out a little bit so that it'll, you know, be a little bit more perfect. We got a little Did. less than perfect on there. File so will handle that, no problem. Maybe my, maybe my handy dandy little, uh, packet knife maybe, yeah, that'll work. Might, that might be choppy, choppy, but that turned out great, look at that. Yeah. Did you see me the other day I posted that? See? So it's ready for church. It's I mean, all holy and everything. Nobody's going to know it's not stock. They're just going to know it's not falling down. And you've got one. And They're going to say, where'd you get the brand new ones? Right, exactly. <laughs> like, no, those are OEM. They just never rotted. So if I were to, yeah, right. So if I were, you know, to set up some sort of jig, I could probably make a whole bunch of them. But I'm really not having that good time doing it. So if somebody else wants to figure out a different way of doing it, they certainly are welcome to. Yeah, that was a lot um, of work. I am going to... Have a CNC cut it. <laughs> one of those, but yes, it would be great. So we've got yeah, one. That'd be great. So what I'm going to do is um, lay this out. You know, I'll take eight and a half by eleven sheets of paper. Uh huh. Kind of tape them together with the cross marks and stuff like that. I'll mark it out on the paper. Then I'll take all the pieces of paper apart, scan it, number them, scan it, um, and post it on the samba for anybody who wants cool. to redo their own. Probably water jet it. With hardboard? Yeah, but water jet doesn't just spray all over the place like you might think. It's going to make a fine cut through it. Maybe. It might make it damp, but I mean, you just wipe it off as soon as you're done. But, you know, it's an easy... How long did it take us to do this in an hour? Not up. Bluetooth. And we've got, we've got three that are cut. Like, we cut all of them, you know, three of them out at one time. Out of three. Uh -huh. Yep. You know. Enough for everybody's bus. It's $9 worth of hardboard. Oh, you didn't get the holes in the other ones. I thought you stacked them. No, no, no. I did stack them when I cut them. I see, but not holding them. But not holes in them. This is my template. Forever and ever and ever. Amen. Oh. And I'll do the whole This is the one you put away. This is the one I'm going to keep. You guys get All right. Those are the ones I'm going to give away. Okay. So. Well, fantastic. You did a good job. Thank you. Totally, totally is worth it. I think it needs another hole right here. <laughs> X, X, <do> not cut. <laughs> yeah. X and not like they do the knee surgery, so they don't do the wrong one. They put an X on it. When I not. actually made mine, I, I made the mistake of not paying attention to which side was which, and I started cutting them in the wrong direction, and I ended up having to like read. Does it matter? I guess you get a little burr on the back side, huh? Yes, it does. Hit it with a lighter; it'll come right off say so but you don't want to have like in the real thing you don't want to have all these chipped up pieces of the back because yeah, not then, face you know, it. Right. the integrity is lost when you do that yeah so. i don't know if it'll burn up that easy but you might just hit it with a lighter and just burn a little fuzzies off of it well, we're just going to be super careful when we do the other ones so that we don't bust through mm -hmm. you know we we put a piece of wood underneath it to back it and then you know very gotcha but yeah we're going that's fast the way to do it because yeah. it's a pain in the ass yeah, it's a lot of holes. Hundred and what? Twenty-seven. <laughs> this is just the uh, template, so it's not that big of a deal. No. Nope. On the other pieces, we're going to make sure that we don't blow through. Well, fantastic! Yep. Great job there. Thank you. All right. Oh, and for anybody, I think this is like a quarter inch. It's a four square. Oh, it's a three-quarter inch. Three-quarter inch. Gonna say bigger than a quarter. Yep. Is that the same one? That's the same one. Oh, so you had two people working on it. I did. I see. So you only had the drill, what was it, uh, 64 <laughs> and a half, 63 and a half holes? Like <laughs> so, but yeah, it's totally, totally doable in a day. Totally mm -hmm. worth it. Well, fantastic. You did a good job. I can't wait to see him in. All right. Is the bus here? My bus is not here. Oh, bus. bummer. My bus has a bus today at them, so when I get that running again, then I'll get to run it. So we did get the cam broken the other day. Uh -huh. We had to sweep the ASM arm so that it, we could keep it running. We, <laughs> Bill sat there for 20 minutes holding it. <laughs> he kept looking up at me. I'm like, <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, 
<laughs> yeah, I saw your post on Facebook. I didn't even know any of that was going down. Bill almost always shares what he's up to with me, so I didn't even know. I saw the post. I was like, hell yeah! yeah. Thumbs up. <laughs> Good. Good. We did a number of side trips, mm -hmm. right, to sort of get a couple of things that we needed, and this was broken, and oh, the ejector is leaking, let's get some more hose, oh, I don't have the hose, let's go down to O'Reilly, O'Reilly doesn't have it, let's go to Advance. So there was a little of that. Yeah, that's but my typical way. I can't find this thing that I need to blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was a pretty straightforward day otherwise. So. Okay. How are they doing? I'm gonna have to go look. <laughs> Times. That's it. Thanks for checking out. Oh, of course, you did a good job. Thank you. It's been it closer. Slight, yep. It made a, a slight tapping noise, almost imperceptible. Yeah, it'll sound like he a said, ting. Ting, yeah, ting, ting. very, very yeah. slight. Yeah. And he, um, he said That's exactly what I said in my video on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, the, the 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 guy who rebuilds the motors, he said. I put a piston in backwards, it's got to all come apart. And the guy was getting ready to go on a vacation. And so I said, are you sure? He says, I'm absolutely sure. He says, I can hear it. He says, it's got to come out and come apart. So we cleared the decks, got everything, got the parts cleaner guys, had the engine out, took that side off. He said, I'm just going to guess, I think it's number three, number four. Pulled the head off, you know, I mean, we're all doing it while the guy's waiting to go take this on vacation. Pulls the head off and says, yep, look at the arrows, the wrong direction. Blew it all apart. Guys cleaning parts were going along. Two and a half hours later, it was back together. Yeah. 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 So, I, you know, that's, that's, that experience. Yeah. That's experience. So, i got to address this again. Actually, probably would have ran fine with the piston in the reverse way. It, it probably would have been noisier. But he was, uh, that's the way yeah. these guys were. It was, it was either right or, or you didn't ship it. You know? Yeah, some of the racers put them in, uh, flipped over on purpose because there's less friction that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, actually, yeah, it's yeah. true because yeah. they're designed to lean against one side of the cylinder so they yeah. don't slap around. Uh, but if it's not leaning, then it's just noisy. <laughs> yep. I don't know how much of an advantage there is to it, but well, if you <laughs> race it, you're looking for every advantage. Right. It's <laughs> all this screaming shit going on out here. Now officially known as Donut Don. <laughs> no, now you're Donut Don. Yeah? That's it. Mm. <laughs> breakfast of champions. Alright. But it's not breakfast, is it? Probably not. You want a frog already? This is my hot dog appetizer. <laughs> With a hot dog and a donut. We came to an end of an era. You know what this is, though? Yes, it's that. Oh, you dug out that new one? I did. Alright. Now look, you can have this. If you were to tap the ends off, drill a hole right there, and fill it up with gunpowder, I'd make a big cherry bomb. Well, Let's I mean, do a, that. Could you imagine? Oh, Let's do it. Cherry bomb, man. That'd be a big one there. How many cherries do you put in it? A lot of cherries in that, maybe. Wow. It'd go everywhere. I'd be popping that cherry. Hey, hey, Don. <laughs> this is what I need to be... You see where it was welded? Yeah. Oh, and make sure the edge is clean. Yeah, it's clean. It's clean. And right there. Try to remove both of the paint that you get up there. You want to see okay. the bare, bare metal. Should I wear glasses? Yes. Yes, yes. yes definitely. Yes. Safety glasses. Yeah. You don't want one of those things flying to no. your eyes. What is that? Where's Gabriel? That's a made up word. Uh, <laughs> it's supposed so to be fuel. Gabriel, but <laughs> he, was, he was towing his, uh, he was telling the Beetle that you sold him here. Yeah, yeah, why is he towing it? The drum locked up. Oh. Locked up, so he towed it back to his house and he's working on it with Juan over there. I don't, oh. know why, I don't know why he didn't tow it here, but yeah, he was towing it and it said it locked up and oh he said he put it the gas and it was hot. It was hot. Huh. He so. had a problem with one of the um, lugs, wheel lugs mm -hmm. coming out or something. I wonder if they had anything to do with it. Yeah, it was the driver's side. Yeah, it's driver's the side. same one that locked up. Yeah, that's a lot of It is. Up. Yeah. I wonder if you got something in there. Maybe yeah, you put the wrong lug in it. It's too long or something. Hit yeah. something on the inside. But yeah, he said it locked up. And dude, whenever I went over there, it had already been cooling for 30 minutes. It's hot still. Still hot. Still hot, man. It was oh, man. drums or the bearing? Uh, I don't know. Uh, the bearing looked fine. What I can see, it looked fine. Yeah. And when he pulled the drum off, the shoes looked fine, too. So he's he's lost. He's completely lost. We'll what get him up, figured yeah. out. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see what he does, though. Uh, how old are the brake lines? No, I, I put them in, so they're yeah. five years. Yeah, but they haven't broken. hardly been driven on, and they've been right. stored inside, so. They might have broken down. Maybe, but they don't rust, so they're inside. 
was all brand new stuff I put it together. But you know, Chinese stuff. Well, I'm talking about, Chinese I'm parts. talking about the rubber hose part of the little flexible. Oh, I don't know anything about that. That thing, that thing collapsed. They might be stainless, actually. I might have put them on there. But still, five years. <clears throat> What's going on here? You telling something? First time driving? No. He's, no? He's a good driver, but it's just... Yeah. Nice. Yes. Yeah. HO in Mexico. This one? HO in Mexico. Yeah? See. Si. Oh, is that the one Gabriel had? Yes, that is his. I don't quite know why he brought it, but Carlos brought it. Yes. I don't know what's going on here. Well, didn't Carlos buy it? Uh, yeah, I think he was talking about it, but I don't think it's happened yet. So I don't know what's going on. We'll have to ask him. I think that might be Dylan's wife. What's up? Hola. Let's go see who that is. So uh, tell us the status of the bus here. What's, uh, what's the status? You're still yours? Uh, no, never has been mine. Okay, yet. that's why I asked no, it that way. <laughs> Three for curve on yeah. purpose. <laughs> um, so the status is the second I get it running, then I'm buying it. But as long as it's not running, I'm not going to buy it. So I told Gabriel. So you're going to put work into a bus that's not yours? You say it like that. <laughs> you gotta bill him then, right? I hope he's watching this later. <laughs> it's Vocho Wagons, by the way, if you guys don't know. I mention them all the time in videos. Vocho Wagons, Gabriel owns this bus. Carlos here is gonna try to scam him out of it. I'm not trying to scam anything. Yes, you are. I'm trying to scam him out of it. I'm gonna tell him. I'll trust you. <laughs> so I don't get busted by us. I'm Busted. <laughs> busted. Is that gonna go up with the bumper touching like that? What? Come off the hitch. This? Yeah. Yeah, it goes. It'll up. lift up. Yeah. It looks like it's on the bumper. No. It's on it. Lift a little. <laughs> That's about what I was saying. <laughs> You're on the bumper, dude. All the weight's on it. Look behind you. What this? It, yeah, it's on the bumper. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you gotta right. Lower the back of the, the truck down and then try to lift it up. There it is. <laughs> and this probably has to go a little forward. There you go. <laughs> I was doing what you were talking about. I was like, what are you yeah. Doing? You had all the weight up on the bumper. Watch for that because you'll fuck your bumper up. You see what's happening here? Mm -hmm. oh, you go over a lot of right speed there. bumps and things and just the turves. Okay. Turves. Well, hopefully I don't have the to curves of the road and turns, it's just going to it's gonna abuse the crap out of it. The turds in the road. Chain. Yeah, use the chain. Yeah. To the headlights. No! <laughs> Here, yeah. yeah, it will if you twist it around a bunch of times. Oh, oh that works too. Just take the chain and twist it. Yeah, twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it, twist, it, twist the chain. El twistalito. <laughs> okay, twistalita. Twist, twist dejo. <laughs> Did you say fellatio? Yes, fellatio <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just uh, chupa, right? Yeah. Carlos, why do you still get that plastic on that thing? Are you bragging because it's brand new? It's Gabriel's. Just saying goodbye. Hi. Glad to see you and the puppers. Oh, your puppers. <laughs> They're getting a little warm. I see that. Mm. I am too. The sun is intense. I know. I started burning on my yeah, face already. Yeah, I'm already. And I've been out of the sun mostly and I'm still I'm frying. super thirsty too. Oh. Yeah. 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 There's a Dallas tour down the street. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, man, white boy don't know more Spanish than you. Now, if you start speaking German to me, we should do that instead. Um, I know Scheiße. Okay, good start. That's I actually know, the most important uh, German word. A uh, Wiedersehen. Yep, yep. Nine. Um, because they're welded. How many? Nine. Is that like between eight and ten? Oh, no, nine means no. How <laughs> do you say yes? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that's funny, I didn't know that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. We was in Chaiza. That's the important stuff. I mean, if you were in Germany and used those words only, you can get away with just about anything. I'm not Chaiza. Yeah, yeah, you can. They laugh like hell with that. Oh, really? Okay. If for some reason, Germany, like, poop jokes and stuff is really funny. Okay. 
Yeah. It's not like, yeah, you are bothered by that stuff, but in Germany, they laugh about farts and poops and stuff. Yes, and, I don't. and even children running around yeah. schoolyards saying shies at each other <laughs> is acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> even though here you go, shit, 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 you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> but over there, it's different. Okay. Nine shies? I don't talk about shit. Nine shies. You just did. <laughs> I said a word. Yeah. That can mean many things. Are you talking about poopy? I don't like that. Well, too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Poopy. It's a human thing. Get that out of my face. It's not a human thing. Everything poops. I said it's a natural thing for the human body to do. That is all. But I don't need to hear it. I took an awesome shit today. What'd you take? You. You took me? <laughs> you. I get a text. I took an awesome shit. I don't think I worded it like that. Doesn't sound like me. Okay. I would say something like I cut a 12 foot rope today. Yeah, that's. Because that actually I did that, do that last that week. That kind of shit. Sometimes you gotta grow a tail. That was mighty impressive though. 12 feet of rope. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to lay it out across the floor and measure it. It was that I don't, impressive. Oh my god. It would have broke though. It wouldn't have been. I had to poop in a bowling alley or something instead. <laughs> Take me to a bowling alley next time I gotta go real bad. It speaks to good health. You should be happy. Yes! It better See? out than in. I keep telling I you this. <laughs> well, that, 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 that's why you're so grumpy all the time. You gotta let it go. <laughs> it's not because I'm constipated, so I don't need to share it. <laughs> so you keep it to yourself and you just end up full of shit. Yeah, you end up full of shit. Then we just figured out the problem then. You know, you're so grumpy all the time. You gotta poop once in a while. I'm not grumpy all the time. <laughs> okay, when are you not grumpy? When I'm at home. You were grumpy last night, so that does count. <laughs> yeah, that sucks, actually. I feel bad for you for that. As you know, I had that terrible, terrible breakout a month or so ago. And they're kind of acting up a little bit today, too. But it's nice out. It'd be nice to go on the bike, ride the bike. I was thinking about that on the way over here. Yeah. Yeah. I, my I want to go ride my bike. I want to ride my bicycle. I know, I keep seeing them like, we should go ride. At least take advantage of the daylight before it's dark. I'm either going to work on the bike or the boat tomorrow. Boat. I say, he's plenty tall. That's not going to be a thing. I know. <laughs> so many people are impressed with my selfie reach. They're like, who took that picture? So it was me. They're like, how did you reach around a car? <laughs> Why took my reach around right now? <laughs> oh, are you interested? You want one? You're the kind of guy that... Oh, that, uh, where's that from? Oh, Full metal jacket. Full oh, metal jacket. Full yeah, oh, metal jacket. Full metal jacket. Oh, you were a naughty boy. Mm, it tastes pretty damn good. That's what she said. Yeah, high five. No. Low five. No. No five. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Come on, clean them up. You first. All right. <laughs> I don't think that feels I'm not the squeamish one. <laughs> has nothing to do with squeamish. Sure it does. That's everything to do with squeamish. The grit would not feel good. It would scratch you. <laughs> hey, Carlos. Yes, sir. You on caffeine? Do I want caffeine? Yeah, because you already... I already had like four cups of coffee. You look pretty wired. I don't get it. Holy Carlos! <laughs> there. VW life. That's it. I never give him the proper shout outs. Oh! And this yeah. guy here, look. Just give a nice big old bear hug. Subscribe. To what? Yeah. VW life. Make oh, okay. that a These guys are in Texas. Hug, Great guys. B A R E hug. <laughs> Matt Jackson. VW <laughs> life. Yay. I look for another one. Actually, before I was polishing this race here, uh -huh. you know, because it was, it's, in fact, it'll, when he, when he does the next go around, which is doing ball joints and everything, uh -huh. he'll have to replace that, uh, that, that, there's a space that comes off the end there that the seal rides on. Was there a little rust on there from the salt yeah, water? Yeah, there sure was. I don't know if it was from the salt water or just, I mean, this thing's, what, 50 years old? 52 years Roughly, old? Roughly, yeah. 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 So. This bus, for those of you watching, 
This was in Hurricane Sally, right? Yes. And uh, had about three feet of seawater, so roughly up to about here. Engine, transmission, brakes, interior, everything was pretty much messed up by the storm, but they're little by little going through things, and that's why they're upgrading to the disc brakes all at the same time. But that's why the little stub got rusty, got salted. Yeah, the bearing was completely right seized on. Yeah, see, when I tried that side, it went right on, so that told me it was okay. Yeah. Well, you'll get it. It won't take oh, much yeah. to clean that no. up. And it's, it's this is just to be expected. And the only thing is, I actually should have caught it before we tried to put the disc on. I didn't. So. Hey, hey, things are bigger in Texas. I found one, but it was Looks bigger. Like things. Yeah, How big did they get? I don't know. Ask Ellen. She's from Texas. Ellen, Ellen, you from Texas? Come on. Uh, with her mask on. Wave. <laughs> you gotta get that, man. She's got it. Oh. I am. Oh. I got it. Well, well my guy's your camera. You gotta person. get that one. Everybody always complains I'm not on camera, so. <laughs> well, yeah. good. But, I don't give them any reason to. Uh, so, what are you welding? The sink. Oh, okay. There's a little spot where the back part is broken. So, we're welding it. Gotcha. We'll get shit done. Get shit done. <laughs> <laughs> you got that thing in Oh, yeah. Should I be filming yeah. while this well? Uh, Just don't you look at the well. Look only in the screen when he's welding. Shield okay. your eyes from the bright lights. Okay. Alright, Bethany. Hurt your eyes. Yeah, there you go, girl. So, what should I do? Alright, so we're going to do once I get in position again. Alright, Okay. Okay. And we'll see what that does. And we'll see if we got the heat right now. Okay. Alright, so hold on. You good? You'll get you'll be alright. Where's a switch? I'm gonna find that switch again. <laughs> Show me your end result there. What you got? There you go. Look at that. It's still we, hot? Nope. Ow! We put a little bit of primer on there yeah. just See? so it doesn't rust. Yeah. Covered up. Good. Good. Whoops. Turned out good. Up. Looks like a bird shit weld. <laughs> well, that's what everybody on YouTube would tell me anyway. So I just had to say it first. Well, yeah, as long as it's solid, it's all that matters. Who gives yep. a shit? You're gonna post your seat. You're never gonna see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day whenever we fully restore it or okay, something. Okay, you know how these can go? Oh, yeah. Let's put that one. Yeah, put it on the bar. Wait till I come in with all new upholstery. Oh, this is your seat? Yeah. Okay. I did not realize this. Is your passenger seat? Number 10? Yes. Okay. Some people just put a blanket on it and drive it just like that. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go, part two. Hay un batería en su batería? Is there a battery in my battery? See. Si. <laughs> I mean, I understood you, but I don't know what you should ask me. That's not supposed to make sense. It's one of those things oh, okay. that you tell a tourist to say, and they... 13 millimeters? <laughs> Hours. Check the sails on that other battery. Use a screwdriver to bridge it and see if it's any good. No. <laughs> you know, I did that shit when I was like 13. It was... It was. Wow. Oh, God. Yeah, but look at the date on it. Seven, eight, uh, yeah, eight. Stop eight, playing. It wasn't me. Almost three years. <laughs> I'm like, I'm too focused here. <laughs> <Go ahead>. Greg. <laughs> wow. 
You know me for how long and you call me Greg? Okay, ready? Yeah. Still cranking slow. Just grab your distributor and just see if it turns. Yeah, it does. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh,
His name's all over it. Possession is nine tenths of the law. Well, in that case, I will possess no. it. <laughs> I've been possessing it for too many years. I'm ashamed to admit how long I've had it without. Well, possession. there you go. Now we're going to solve that problem. You don't need it. You don't need it. Man. I know. You don't use it. And while I'm at it, I'll take the oval out of the shed, too. Yeah, piece of crap. Go ahead and take it. I told uh, I Before you have it crushed. I towed a U-Haul trailer to Texas and picked up that oval and towed it back home. All right. It's probably in third grade. Uh, that's the most action that thing seen, seen since then. No, I actually got it driving for a little while. You did not. I've never seen that drive. Well, I took it to him. Back when uh, Mike Austin was still in business. He did a tune-up 15 on years it. ago, yeah. yeah. Mike did a tune-up on it. That's how long ago it's been. Now they have uh, Well, let me take it away for you. You don't need that. Come on, i got to get out of it before it gets crushed. It's going to get crushed. It's going to get wrecked. You're going to destroy it. No. Why would you even want to crush something? You wouldn't want to. But you did. Don, you crush everything. Yeah, I'm going to crush you. Oh! I want to see this. Yeah, yeah. let's try this. I hey, want to see this. I got a mixed martial arts thing. Yeah. <laughs> M-A-A. No, I don't think so. Come on, Don. Wow. Arm wrestle you for it. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you can have her. Oh. What? Huh? When, does he own you? No, he does not. Uh -oh, <laughs> My got, name's on her. You got, oh, oh, you got a tattoo of him? Yeah. No. Turn it upside down and look. You'll see. No, I don't. You got a bracelet with his name on it. Hell, fucking no, I do not have anything that is any possession to him. <laughs> you can try all you want. No. Tramp stamp? No. Okay. Well, you're not mine anymore. You're Don's. <laughs> well, there, you just gave me back. <laughs> That's it. Come on. Deck lid for a girl. Look, Don's got all kinds of valuable parts laying around here. Look at that damn distributor fell out of his ass. Yeah. It's a distributor. Yeah, a gas distributor. <laughs> distributor. Yeah. There you go. Gas distributor. Uh, is, is that double or nine? Did you check the timing? Yeah. <coughs> got any points in it? We're gonna have double no nine. You gonna have it crushed? One. One. Why? You put wine in it. What are you going to do? We can't get your name on it? No. It's free, though, isn't it? It's spinning. It, it might have her name on it. Take her it. middle name is Bosch. Is it wiggling? Okay. No, I mean back and forth. Oh. No. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Nice and tight. Good and tight. Hey, young lady. Hi, how are you? Hi, right, Carlos got it running, so... Let's see if he turns it around and drives it like it's just it should. He's gonna run out of gas. He's taking so long. Yeah. Yeah, it was raining. That was that was the day I put the rear disc brakes on. Oh, okay. Well, we didn't. We didn't. down, boy. We didn't find out. Holy shit. Until what Thursday that our car was from the community. Yeah. Yeah, like that more cruise. We didn't. We should have aired the yeah. car out. I hated the cruise. Yeah, that was a good cruise. It rained really bad. Yeah, it usually is always a good. I've never been out that way going that, that way. Yeah, back the back roads. The back roads, yeah. I remember one day we were going out there, and somebody made a wrong turn, so we all kind of stopped. And his truck was coming the other way. This guy in the grill, and this one was white. And you could. Can... Hey, pasa? So that, obviously that's the first. Oh, so then, stick looks mighty loose, huh? Dude, it is like... Trying to go in reverse? Yeah. Honestly, dude, it might not even have reverse. I don't know, I've never driven this bus before, so... No, that's second. See? It doesn't even feel like it even could even huh. go in there. It just, it just doesn't feel right. That's third. Man, that is... Dude, that, this is even worse than my Beetle, dude. Probably needs a new bushing in the back there, too. It's just not happening. I'm about to run out of gas in the little cup anyway. <laughs> nah. I need to try. Yeah, this you want to really weird. Yeah, I can film you. Yeah, if you wanna. All right, here. Let's see what happens. Oh. I don't know if I don't know if you have enough gas or not, but let's see. Actually, you should 
Egyptian's not even going down. Is it one of the pushing ones? It should be. It doesn't feel like it's going in right. There it is. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, your turn. All righty. <laughs> I'm gonna see how much gas my tank has. My <laughs> oh, I got a little bit. It's about, a bit. To, it's about to run out, though. It's about to run out. Yeah, kind of bang down on it a couple times and then knock it into position. It'll go. What was your first drive? How was it? I feel like I won a million dollars. <laughs> Runs better than your Beetle. <laughs> Good job, Carlos. Thank you, Brad. Thank you. Man, that was some wild shit. Any word from Gabriel today about his brakes? No, I'm about to go back to his house and see how it's going. As far as I know, him and Juan are still over there. <laughs> so, we'll see what was going happens. on there? I don't know. Especially I don't know for it to be that hard. Because it, it comes off so easy. It's just one nut mm -hmm. and it's off. Who knows? You don't even right? have to take the wheel off. <laughs> you just take the cap off through the wheel. <laughs> Back a little. In the words of the world famous rap group Onyx, back the truck up. Onyx? Yeah, remember them? Whoa, I haven't thought of those guys. Yeah, back the truck up. Yeah, hey, you must go backwards. <laughs> this way. Slowly. Straight back. Stop, stop, stop. You're good. The rest you can roll it. There it is. See? Hey. I help you. Sweet. Hope you can get the chain up, uh, not the chain, the uh, bar up high enough. Yeah. Again. Oh, I gotta turn it a little bit. Yeah, turn a little bit. Get a loose shock. Really? Bad bushing or something, hear it? Oh. <laughs> I do it with one hand, Duckman style. Oh, wants to. I'm a pro. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> oh, you went too far. Went too you far. turned the wheel way too far. Okay, 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 okay. Turn it back about half a turn. <laughs> Let's see how that do. Okay, well, back then. There it is. Hey. Alrighty. Latch it. That doesn't pop. <laughs> Yay! Good job, Carlos. Appreciate it, Glenn. Did you fart? No, did you? Maybe I'm smelling a paper factory. Might have farted. Maybe it's gonna be cold tonight. Okay. They need to borrow 20 bucks so you can buy it from them. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Kill me, Gabriel. You're it looked like it was a new me. part. He probably changed it at some point and put the pin back in it. There's a little pinner. Oh. No, actually, it's a spring clip that's behind there. Maybe it didn't seat right. Oh, man. Alright, make sure things in neutral. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. It looks like I'm out of here. Appreciate the help, Glenn. For real. Remember, always, remember always. steering column lock. Oh, I, I, it doesn't have it. It doesn't have it? I asked him and he said, which was odd because I thought like a 73 would have it. But. 
It's a Mexican one. So. Well, you know what? It maybe, might be, maybe they didn't have the, the standards. It might be because the ignition is in there properly. Ah, that probably is why. Yes. But I, I did ask Matt. I always check. But okay, no, he well said good. it doesn't lock. Oh, Looking good. Ones. Too bad Gabriel didn't make it here today. Vulture wagons. Yeah. He's busy making a video. <laughs> here we go. Might look very similar to what we put on these Carmen gear. Fantastic. Have you get in the van. this line. Very nice. Looks like a new master Probably cylinder came with the kit. Which was a surprise. I didn't expect that to be in there, but I guess it was matched for the uh, be optimal for brakes. Right, so they're gonna bleed the sucker out. Push rod. And we'll see some results here in just a minute. And that's how you get into a bus that's way high up on it. Part of tech session today was to go get our wieners back and to whack that wiener. So we took us a cruise across town over here. Volkswagen. Sorry for the wind noise. Another one here. And a last beetle over there. And here's the wiener brigade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what you got there? Wacky Mackey. Wacky Mackey, what's on it? Uh, mac and cheese, bacon, and a little barbecue sauce. That sounds delicious. Well, incidentally, I got one of them too. It's right here. Wacky Mackey, I got a junkyard. He's ordering it And some kind of hotter than hell thing. I forget what it's called, but it's got like multiple different hot things on it. And it's going to be delicious, I'm sure. Before I do anything, though, no, I gotta wash my dirty hands. Yeah. Well, thank you everybody for watching another exciting tech session Saturday combined with a second event where we took a cruise over to see the, uh, well not to see anything, we had hot dogs. Uh -huh. Did you have a good hot dog? I did. You enjoyed that? I got the wacky wacky. That's it. I got that as well as a few others. And then we had ice cream, which we didn't follow up with video, but uh, uh, that was good. What was yeah, it? it? Bourbon was, something? Uh, brown bourbon chocolate truffle ice cream. It was good. It was delicious. Uh, I, I would go back just to get that even. It was that good. Anyways, as always, everybody, like it, like it, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to plug that dingle belly so we get updates every time I upload a video. Check out duckshit.net for all of our different social media links. Ashlyn over here has some links up on there that you can find her YouTube. You can find her Instagram. You can also find my Instagram and my other YouTubes. If you're watching this, yeah, you probably might realize I do have several YouTube channels and they're all listed up on duckshit.net. And, and don't forget me. He's not here today. But she, oh, yo, she, she was she here today. Yeah. yeah, B was here today. So check out DuckShit.net and also for B's links, just the same. Her stuff is there too. And um, what else we got? I don't know, he took the steam out of me. <laughs> he told me the other stuff instead of letting me finish. <laughs> I don't remember what it was anymore, but I had something else. Oh! If you want to attend a Rare Air event, don't forget to hit up our website, rareairvw.com, find a link to our Facebook page, and check out our events links up on the Facebook group page. We announce everything there, everything's an open invite. If you have a Volkswagen or if you like Volkswagens, you're always welcome to join us. So thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you next time.